Here is a real life application of trigonometric function. The voltage V supplied to an electrical circuit is given by the function V equals to 100 sine 50 T plus 50 sine 100 T. Find the maximum and minimum values of V over one period. Now to find maximum and minimum we need to find the first derivative and then check whether it is changing from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing, right? Two steps. And then we should get our answer, right? So let's do it. So V is given to us. Let's write V equals to 100 sine 50T plus 50 sine 100T. First derivative will be 100 times 50 times cos of 50t, right? Plus, this will be 50 times 100 times cos of 100t. Now, what we can do is, we can take 5000 comma. So, that is 5000 and we are left with cos 50t and plus cos 100t. Okay, now if you remember the formula for cos 2 theta, let me write it here, which is, which we are going to apply. Let me write here cos 2 theta formula, right? Cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So we'll apply this formula here. This is 2 times 50t and then get a quadratic equation, right, in 50t. That will help us to solve this question. So that's kind of a tricky part. So we get 5000 cos of 50t plus 2 cos square 50t minus 1. So this is quadratic equation in cos 50t, right? So we can use quadratic formula or we can even factor this and find the answer, right? So we get 55,000. Let's rearrange it. It's just 2 cos square 50t plus cos 50t minus 1. So, so at this stage, you can use quadratic formula or you can factor it. Either way, we can find the solution. So let's use the quadratic formula and write down the solution. So cos of 50 t is equals to quadratic formula is minus b and b is 1 here. So we get minus b plus minus b square. So that means 1 square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is minus 1 square root divided by 2 times a which is 2 All right and that will give us minus 1 plus minus now this is 1 minus times minus is plus 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 square root of 9 is 3 so we get plus minus 3 over 4 All right so that is the solution of cos of 50 t right now that gives us two values the two values here are if we take minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 divided by 4 so so one value is minus 1 right the other one is if I take plus 3 so if I take plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 is 2 plus 2 divided by 4 is half so these are the two solutions for cos of 50 t right so we can say the solution here is that cos of 50 t is equal to either half or minus 1 right so these are the two solutions now when is cos of 50 t half or minus 1 so for that let's look into our coordinate system so what we will do here is we'll try to make a small thing right we're not doing anything big here Okay, so cos is positive half in two quadrants, right? So 
in quadrant 1 cos is positive and in quadrant 4 cos is positive, right? What are these two values when cos is half? Let me help you. So what I will do here is I'll also sketch one special triangle and that triangle is 30, 60, 90, right? So we have 1 here, 2 here, square root 3, right? This is pi by 3. So cos of pi by 3 is half, you see. So therefore, we can get half with cos of pi by 3 in quadrant 1. That is one answer. So we'll write here pi by 3 as one solution. The other solution is 1 pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 3 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, and this is 5 pi by 3. 5 pi by 3. So these two values will give us plus half. And how about minus 1? Minus 1 is at cos is minus 1 at pi, right? So we get three answers for this. That is at pi. So these are the three answers for us. So we, we have solutions as these three, right? So I'm just writing them as pi by 3, pi and 5 pi by 3. Now we need to analyze that at these points, do we have a maximum or a minimum or not? So let's do it on this side of the page. So what basically we got here is that we are trying to analyze V dash now. Now V dash is all this quadratic equation, which we have written here. And we found that V dash is zero. So we equate it to zero to find this value. So let me write here, which I missed writing, that is, we are trying to find critical point. Why after all we did zero? Because we are trying to find a critical number. So let me write here critical number. So critical number is when v dash equals to zero. So let me put it zero here. And that's why we got all this solution. And we figured out that the values which can give zero for this are pi by three, pi and 5 pi by 3. So for these three values, this v dash is 0 since this quadratic equation is 0, right? These are our zeros. Now we need to test do we have a maximum or minimum at these points or not. So let's take the test points. We'll refer to this diagram once again and now let me redraw this diagram right here so that you know everything is at one place. So what we are saying is that our solution is either here, right, or it's here, or it is here, right. So these are the three places. This is what we are saying is pi by 3 for us. This is pi for us. And that position is 5 pi by 3, right. So this is pi by 3. This is pi. And this is 5 pi by 3, correct? Now let's take test points between these regions. Easy for us to work will, with will be test points like 0 here, right? And in between pi by 3 and this, we can take pi by 2. And between pi and 5 pi by 3, that is a good point to take, which is 3 pi by 2. And then let's take 2 pi, correct? So these are our test points. So I'm calling them as test points. Now at these test points, we need to test whether V dash is positive or negative, right? Is zero we know at these points, pi by three, pi and five pi by three. So if I put zero in my equation, what do I get? Cos 50 T, if I am putting this, these points are for cos these points are for 50t, right? So what we found is cos 50t is this, therefore 50t is this, right? So what we have here is 50t, the angle, is equal to either pi by 3, pi, or 5 pi by 3, correct? For cos of 50t to be half or minus 1, correct? That's what we're trying to find. Now, if I took take 50t as 0 in this, then cos of 0 is 1. So we get 2 plus 1, 3, we get a positive value. So we get a positive value here. 
if 50t is pi by 2, is if it is pi by 2 here, 50t as a whole is pi by 2, then cos pi by 2 is 0, right? So we get 0, 0 and a negative answer. So we get negative here. Now if 50t is 3 pi by 2, even then we get 0, right? So that is negative, 0, 0 and negative, right? And when we place it 2 pi is positive 1. So positive 1 gives us positive answer, right? 3 minus 1, which is plus 2. So we get positive answer here. So as you can see from here, the concavity, uh, I mean, the function is increasing in, in this portion, right? And then it decreases. Here again it is decreasing and then it increases. Now that clearly indicates that we do have a maximum here at pi by 3 but there is none here but at this point 5 pi by 3 we have a minimum right so so we have maximum and minimum values now what are these values that is what we need to figure out which we can easily find by placing pi by 3 for 50 t in our original equation of voltage right so we say voltage equals to 100 so we'll find maximum and minimum for placing pi by 3 for 50 t. So we get sine of pi by 3 plus 50 sine of 100 is 2 times 50. So 2 times pi by 3. 2 pi by 3, right? Now what is this equals to? Sine of pi by 3 is, if you see that triangle, sine of pi by 3 is square root 3 over 2. So we get here 100 times square root 3 over 2 plus 50 times cos of 2 pi by 3. It will be in this quadrant, but pi by 3 is positive for sine in quadrant 2. Again, 3 pi by 2, 3 square root over 2. Now we can combine these terms. So we get that is equals to square root 3 over 2 is common. So we get 100 plus 50, that is 150, right? 150 divided by 2 is 75. So we get 75 square root of 3. So that is the maximum value which we get. Now let's put 50t as 5 pi by 3 and then find the minimum value. So voltage equals to 100 sine of 5 pi by 3 plus 50 sine of 2 times 5 pi by 3. Now 5 pi by 3 is negative since 5 pi by 3 happens to be in quadrant 4 so that time it will be negative right. So we get negative of Mine. So I'll write negative 100 square root of 3 over 2 plus this is also negative. So we get negative rather I should write 50 times negative square root 3 over 2. And when you combine this you get equals to minus 75 square root of 3. So that is our answer. So our answer now is that maximum, find the maximum minimum values of V over one period. So we get maximum value is 75 square root of 3 and minimum is minus 75 square root of 3, right? So that is how we have to do this question. So let me push it a bit so it's absolutely clear for you. Now what we really did here was we found the derivative of the given function and it was kind of tricky here. 100t could be written as 2 times 50t and we know the formula of cos 2 theta which is 2 cos squared theta minus 1 got a quadratic equation in cos of 50t. So that could be 0 to find a critical number. So critical number is when the first derivative is 0. So we equated this to 0 and found that cos of 50t could be either half or minus 1. If it is half or minus 1, then the angle, that means 50t, could be pi by 3 
5 pi by 3 or pi, right? So we test it for 50 t for different intervals marked by these three zeros. Test points taken were 0, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. And we found that the first derivative is increasing rather positive from 0 to pi by 3 negative between pi by 3 and pi again negative between pi and 3, 5 pi by 3 but was positive thereafter. So that is one full cycle, right? So we get maximum at 5 pi by 3 minimum as sorry we get maximum at pi by 3 and minimum at 5 pi by 3. To find their values we plugged it in the original equation of V and calculated the answer as 75 square root 3 as maximum value and minus 75 square root 3 as the minimum value. So that is the answer for this particular question. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.